Hello everybody, I am mostly Nintendo Guy and welcome to Super Mario Galaxy 2! After playing through quite a few ROM hacks of this game, I figured it's finally about time that I play through the main game, the main base game, and not a ROM hack, because I'm gonna be real, I haven't played this game in a while. And I played through the first Super Mario Galaxy in the first year of my channel way back in 2019. It was one of my earliest Let's Plays. I think it was like the second one I did with voice commentary, so... Yeah, it's been a while! But playing all the mods recently... At the time of this recording... I recently streamed uh, the final update for Neo Mario Galaxy, so that'll tell you when I'm recording this, even though... It's probably coming out months later than that. Hopefully not too much later. Anyway, let's get to the point. I'm excited to play this game. I haven't played Super Mario Galaxy 2 in a very long time, so I'm so excited to get to this. Let's do this. Would you like to create a new game file? Yes. Let's see. Oh, and I'm not recording this on my on my Wii. I'm recording this on my Wii U. Let's see. You know, in honor of... Let's see. I was gonna say, you know, in honor of a uh, new Super... Uh, I'm sorry, Super Mario Bros. Wonder just coming out. Just go with Mario. Just do Mario, yeah. You got a new game that just came out? Let's do this bad boy. World 1, the great space journey begins. It's been a hot minute since I've played Super Mario Galaxy 2, but... All these mods make me want to play it. Now, let me tell you a new story that also begins with Stardust. Shimmering Stardust falls on the Mushroom Kingdom once a century. That time had come again. Would you like to share some cake while we watch the shooting stars? Meet me at the castle. Peach. No voice acting on the letter reading, like unlike in the first game. Aw, oh, man. The Star Festival had just begun. Toads everywhere were celebrating. Hey, Mario! Star bits! Grab the star bits! Grab them! Point the Wiimo with this. The cursor and grab them! Hit the blocks to get coins and stuff! Give me the coin! All the star bits, let's go! Happy Star Festival, yay! Star bits rain down from the sky. I can't take this pipe for some reason. <laughs> I like the storybook aesthetic of this game. Well, this opening, at least. PlayStation symbols! Strange little fellow seemed confused. Was he lost? He seemed to take a shine to Mario. Mario's cap filled with warmth as he felt a new power surging through him. Triangle, triangle, um, this thing far from the sky. Shade the Wii mode to do your spin attack, just like in the first game. You can break open these crystals and get more star bits. The princess is in the castle. No! You don't say. Where else would she be? Is she anywhere else? What's this? Was this one of the little fellow's friends? Phew, I'm free, but where am I? Where am I? Welcome, Mario. Oh. Oh, hey, hold on. What's that scary sound? Fuck me, I get all sinister. Look, uh, oh my god. It's Bowser! Well, he got big. Everyone panic! Oh boy, it's a monster! Holy crap! Oh boy. Where's the ship? Oh, hi, Bowser. 
You're too late, Mario. The power of the stars is already mine. And look what else I got. I'm huge. Even scary, you're up close, huh? Maybe I'll have Peach bake me something for once. I sure could go for a galaxy-sized cake, slice of cake right now. I'm way too huge for this puny planet. I deserve an empire that's more me size. And I'll put it in the center of the universe. Have fun with your stupid mushrooms. Well, that was dramatic. Stay calm, stay calm. Yes, we're opening to Galaxy 1 with Bowser just screwing over the entire Star Festival. Although I gotta say, I do like the opening of Galaxy 1 better with like him just coming in with a fleet full of airships and just destroying everything. I mean, this one's good too, but I like the one in Galaxy 1 a little bit better. Why, Bowser, why? Because he likes to screw things up for everyone. What do you guys want? Mario, where did that monster come from? He took your princess to the center of the universe. You must hurry and save her. Oh, Master Luma! Young Master Luma, did you get thrown overboard too? Good thing you're safe. I see. So you're going to stay in Mario's cap? That should be safe for now. But Mario, you have other things to worry about, like saving the princess. But how? I know. With young Master Luma's help, you can use the power of the stars. And we Lumas can help a little too. As thanks for saving our friends, we'll send you into space to get that monster. Now, let's go after them. Alright, let's go! Yeah, they get you started right off the bat. Sky Station Galaxy, Pee Wee Piranha's Temper Tantrum. The Power Stars, they're gone! Some gigantic monster stole them. If you're going after that monster, you might see our Power Stars out there too. Please bring our Power Stars back. We Lumas will help you along your way. Oh, I, oh, I love the music, listen! Oh man, it just screams, welcome to a brand new adventure. Oh, it's so good. Hello, friend. Please go around back. Yoshi. Oh my god, I'm excited to be playing this again. It's been so long. It's been a criminally long time since i played Galaxy 2. I'm ashamed of myself. I'm playing a lot of mods, yeah, but... I haven't played the base game in so... in quite... Quite a few years. Good lord. Well, let's go to the other side of this planet. Yeah, unlike Galaxy 1, which has like pretty long intro segment with uh, a long, much longer intro segment with the Star Festival, and then you go to like a tutorial planet, and you like meet Rosalina. This game just throws you in, throws you in right off the bat. Very quick intro. Like we're only like I'm only like 10 minutes into this recording session, and now. Already in the first mission. That's that's how quickly this game throws you into the action. I guess they kind of figured... I guess at this point they kind of expected you to at least have played the first Galaxy game at this point, which... I mean, if you played only this game and not the first game, what, what are you doing? Do, go, go play both games. Here's a tip. You can spin to defeat enemies. You want to see how? Sure, I mean, I might as well show this mechanic off. Galaxy 2 added in a few of these little tutorial tutorial videos. They're completely optional. You don't have to view them if you don't want to, but I figured I might as well show it off right here. Get close to an enemy and shake the Wiimote to spin. Once they're dazed, kick them out of this world. If you jump on top of an enemy, a coin will appear. Grab coins to restore life. So yeah, depending on what method you... 
Oh, hey, it actually respawned all these guys. That's perfect. I can reget all these star bits. I'm going to be collecting as many star bits as I possibly can because, oh my goodness, we are going to need so many dang star bits for this game. Just like in the first game, you want to collect as many as humanly possible. You're going to need a lot. And I just got done playing Neo Mario Galaxy, like, uh, yesterday, as of this recording session. So I'm used to seeing, like, all the new different colors for the star bits that they added. Woo, you saved me! But that monster got away! Oh, he did, did he? Well, let's go after him. No, 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 I want the, I want the coin. I know I don't need it, but I want it. I looked all around for a power star. There isn't one anywhere in this house, though. Hmm. Hello. I'm out helping some friends right now. Sorry if I missed you, Yoshi. Yoshi can write? Since when could Yoshi write? The other Lumas told me about you. Thank you for helping us. I'm going to transform into a launch star. Come over and fly! Let's go! about to miss those. Alright. Got a new enemy right here, the Octumbas. They changed them up a little bit from Galaxy 1. In the first Galaxy game, they can only like do like a brief melee attack at you. In this game, they spit out rocks. Slightly more annoying. But still pretty easy to beat. I figured I don't need to explain too many of the game's mechanics. I mean, I'm sure a good number of you watching this have probably seen some of my mod videos. But again, I played so many of the mods, but yet I played the first Galaxy game on my channel. You'd think I would have played the second one on my channel somewhat sooner. Not four years later, but no, here we are. Lots of one-ups right off the bat. Something new they added. Secret warps. Takes us to a little bonus area. All right. Yeah, the Rainbow Star. I'm invincible! I'm untouchable! These usually only hold, like, one-ups. Nothing super important, but, I mean, they're little fun little side things to do, I suppose. You've got to wait for the time to go out for you to get warped back. Like that! Alright. Oh, surprised you didn't hit me. Man, I'm so used to seeing all these planets with the uh, freaking collector's anxiety. <laughs> if that mod gets an update, I'll definitely do like a, a live stream of that mod as well. I did play through the demo. I mean, it's a very long demo. Hmm, which is the right one? There's a bunch of coins. Oh yeah, gravity. Gravity's weird on these planets, ain't it? Hold on. Hold on. Wait. Don't take that launch star just yet. There we go. That's how you can able to land on this planet. I think that's all that's on here, though. Yep. And I'm running in circles. I'm literally holding in one direction <laughs> when I was doing that. Oh, I love the music, man. Galaxy 1 had some fantastic music. This game is no different. In fact, I think some of the soundtracks in this game are better than the first game. But they went all out with the orchestra in this game. My goodness. They're like, this is going to be the last mainline Mario game on the Wii, so we're going to go hard with the music. And hard did they go. My goodness, it's great. Oh, and the Comet Medals. That's, those are going to be so much fun to remember to grab. So if you're not familiar with Galaxy 2, or you haven't seen any of my mod videos, uh, every first mission in every galaxy has a Comet Medal for you to collect, and that will cause the Prankster Comets to spawn in this game. So we will be collecting all of them for full completion, because we're going to go for full completion on this game. Got a red mushroom that gives me extra health. 
three extra hit points. If I lose these three extra hit points, then I'll go back down to three. The extra points are gone for good. So they don't last forever. Ow! Get a coin to regain some health. Just like from Super Mario 64. And Sunshine. And Galaxy 1. Alright, here we go. And we got the very first boss, Peely Piranha. The little baby version of Dino Piranha from the first game. I'm not fitting that we spot off with like some Dino Piranha sort of thing. Hit him in his eggshell to break, crack it open. And we gotta expose his big behind. Don't take that out of context. It usually takes about two or three hits in order to get this eggshell fully cracked. There we go. Run down the opposite side. Get him! Not done yet. Oh, now he angry. Oh, he's an angry baby. Angry baby. Oh god. Oh boy! I do want to try and show off one little trick. If I can. Well, it might be pretty... It might be hard to do so now that he's... Angry and running fast everywhere. I think. I've seen this trick done be done before. Forgive me if this takes me a little bit while I try to remember how you do it. Yeah, if you ground pound on top of his shell, it just cracks it open instantly. Nice. I've never actually done that trick before. <laughs> I wanted to show it off in the Neo Mario Galaxy stream, but unfortunately Pee, Pee Wee Piranha in that game was a speedrun. It was timed, so I didn't have time to do it. I needed to do what I know. Do, I needed to do what I knew how to do, if that makes sense. I don't want to risk trying something new in my limited time. The first of many stars and many comet medals. Lots of star bits. And coins. This isn't the Comet Observatory. So you're this Mario guy. My little Lumas won't stop blabbing about, am I right? Sorry to hear about the excitement you had with that monster down in the Mushroom Kingdom. I sure appreciate you bringing us this Power Star, though. We need as many of these as we can get. The name's Lubba, by the by. I'm the head honcho of this Luma crew. See, believe it or not, we're on a spaceship right now. Took some real elbow grease to convert this little planetoid into a ship, but we Lumas pulled it off. May not look like much, but it's home. Yeah. Truth be told, the ship, she's not in such hot shape right now. We ran into that monster, too. He blasted us with meteors, and some of my crew were thrown overboard. Yeah. So that monster kidnapped your princess, eh? That's cold. Deep space cold, if you ask me. Yeah. You know what else is cold? That monster stealing every last one of our power stars. See, that's our fuel. Our spaceship runs on energy from stars. Without that, we're stranded here. Ayo, is that... Is that young Master Luma? It is, isn't it? No. Wait, if you have the trust of young Master Luma... Hmm. Say, I just might have a little proposition for you. Hear me out now. Your special someone got kidnapped and now you gotta save her, am I right? That's right. <laughs> and we need fuel for our ship. Now, if you think you could get us, now if you think you could get some of our stars back for us, I'd be willing to make this ship your very own phone own for a bit. Shut up, phone. That's a fair exchange, am I right, Mario? Ignore the shut up phone. Hmm. All right, it's a deal. Okay, gang, let's get cracking, yeah? I want everything space ship shape. Lubba's crew rebuilt the spaceship to look just like Mario.
Well, what do you think? Nice spaceship, yeah? More like a face ship, har har. Well, at least you'll never lose it in a parking lot, am I right? <laughs> so what's next? Don't look at me. This ship has your face on it, not mine. The decision is yours. Feel free to explore Starship Mario or take the helm if you're ready to ship out. It's your call, Captain. Aw, oh, man. Super Mario Odyssey be like with Captain. Oh, boy. When you want to quit, press plus or minus to just save a quit or launch over this. Be sure to take breaks from time to time. Okay. Well, let's go. Let's go take around and look at the ship real quick. See what all is here. Got the big old red wooden M. Always nice. This has turned out to be a fine ship. Yes, it has. Oh, and the upgrade came with some free birds, too. I love the seagulls that spawned in space. That's awesome. <laughs> While sliding down a wall, press A to wall jump, see how you can get with this technique. Okay. Wall jumping. I'm stuck on the sign. There's anything to do a ground pound. I mean, yeah, it's just signs walking around that show you basic tutorial stuff. Hey, we got a red luma here. What are you lolly lollygagging around for? Go get those power stars. Alright. Yeah, there's not much on Spaceship Mario so far. Oh, this guy. What's up to this guy? Even heroes need a hand sometimes. If you have one more remote, a, w a, a friend can help you. Your friend can stop enemies with A and then shake the Wiimote to spin them into the air. So yeah, this is your this is the co-star Luma. So if you want to do a player two, player two can take control of this guy. And you basically have like a whole, like a yellow cursor, and you can like pick up items with A, like throw star bits, stun enemies. I mean, it's something. It's a bit better than what Galaxy 1 did with its multiplayer. So, this is the world map. Just point your cursor at your destination and press A to jump into that galaxy. Like I said, this spaceship runs on energy from power stars. Right now it looks like we got enough power to go this far. We're gonna need more power stars. So let's do it. For your princess and my crew, take it away, Captain. Alright. So you can go back to Sky Station Galaxy or... We could do Yoshi Star Galaxy, but I like to do stuff in order and get everything I can before moving on. Let's go do the next mission in Sky Station. Alright. Storming the Sky Fleet. And I do like how this game really throws you into the action, like, a lot quicker than Galaxy 1 did. But to be fair, Galaxy 1's intro is really good. Welcome to the galaxy. Right out of the bat, we got these little tiny chain chomp pups. Well, I guess chomp pups because they don't have a chain. So I guess they're just called regular chomps. I, I think that's official, by the way. I'm not making that up. The only way you can kill these guys, aside from like a, a rainbow star, is to do that. Ah, oh, the music. The music's so freaking good in this game, man. Alright. Let's not fool around too much. Let's get going. Oh, hello. You appear to be stuck. Get me out of here. There must be a key somewhere. Well, I'm sure there is. Probably have to kill one of these guys. Not that one. You know, these chests too by carefully aiming the plants toward them. Oh, I missed you. You had the key. Good. Thank you very much. Oh. There we go. Extra one up. I will say, this game hands out one ups like, like candy. There's one ups everywhere. <laughs> Ooh! Come on. 
Oh, come on. Let's see. Hit it! Nope. Come on. Wanna... There we go. Oh. Are you serious? Really? Alright. <laughs> well, that's a little slap in the face. Like, hey, you could have used this, too. I am red Mario now. I can transform into a launch star. Just hop in and shake to go flying. Here we go. Quick before... Aww, oh, I was going to try and use it to kill these guys. Oh man, the mods have definitely altered my perspective of this game. <laughs> like this planet in particular. Oh, there is a rainbow star here. Yes. Might as well grind some star bits while I can. Because like I said, we're going to need a lot of them. If I don't grind them now, I'm going to have to be grinding later. Might as well get some now. Crap. These guys want to spawn. Bonsai bills drop a good amount of star bits. Alright, that's it. Alright. Let's go in! Well, I've got some memories from Collector's Anxiety Mod about this, about this planet in particular. Red coins be like, running around all in here. Thank god they're not here. Thank goodness. Oh boy. Okay. Uh... Oh, oh, secret! Corp area! Take me there! That's another one of these. Now these do eventually start getting harder. Because, I mean, like, not too much later they'll stop giving you the rainbow stars. You just have to kill them all with your pure skill. Luckily, and, I'm, and knock on wood, I'm pretty good at this game, but probably going to regret saying that. Because you just know something horrible is going to happen as soon as I... Now that I've said that, I'm going to die a horrifically hilarious way. Smash out of that glass. And I'm also going to do... I'm also going to try and... Uh, for my, like, my own personal goal of mine, I'm going to try and cut down on the swearing... Because I've been swearing a lot in my videos, and I'm getting kind of sick of myself saying that stuff. So I'm going to do my best to cut down on it. Watch out for Cosmic Clones ahead. If they come after you, run. Oh, wow, we already started the Cosmic Clones right now? Dang, I really I forgot how early these guys show up. Cosmic Clones, a little bit different than they were in Galaxy 1. And this one, they... Uh, they basically uh, chase you and like copy all the everything that you do, and of course if they touch you, you get hurt. So there's a whole bunch of them, and they're just like forming a line behind you. It can be pretty tough, pretty difficult to deal with them. Pretty dang different from what they did with the Cosmic Mario in a in a Galaxy Two. What they did with Cosmic Mario in Galaxy One was not really an enemy, it was part of a prankster comet, and you had to do like a race against him. Let's see. I'm just gonna grind some star bits right here. Because I think if you kill like three of these guys, then the next ones won't give you any star bits. Yep, alright. So yeah, they limit how many you can get from these guys. Which sucks, but I mean, I, I kinda get it. I don't need no stinking Paul, I can just jump up here. And I like this piranha plant right here. I wish they used them more. But sadly, despite how cool he looks, this is the only time this piranha plant appears in this entire game. What a shame. This is a really cool design for a piranha plant. There we go. That was risky. I could have killed myself there. <laughs> you got a star! 
Now, something you may notice uh, compared to Galaxy One is a small change, but they made the they made the text a lot bigger. Like whenever you get whenever it says you got a star, it takes up a lot more of the screen than it did in Galaxy One. I've played these games so much, I can tell tiny details like that. Wish I could give you more help than just cheering from the sidelines. You know, a friend with another Wii, Wii remote can join up with you, and one of my co-star Lumas can help out. They can help you take down enemies and get you some extra star bids. So if you want a partner, don't be shy about asking a friend to jump in. Yeah, unfortunately though, I don't have anyone here who wants to play this game with me. <laughs> it's so sad. Alright, I think that's going to be a good, good amount of time for the first episode. This is going to be the, this is the start of a grand new adventure. And I'm glad that I'm finally devoting some time to playing Super Mario Galaxy 2 on this channel. Four years after I did the original. But hey, we're here now. So, I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye!